heading down to Longhorn Steakhouse anytime soon? Well, hold your horses, because we've rustled up a few menu items that'll put a real dent in that diet. A porterhouse is a cut taken from the area of the cow where the tenderloin and top loin meet. This cut is notorious for its large size, and the Longhorn version doesn't disappoint in that regard. Sitting at a whopping 22 ounces, the Longhorn Porterhouse entree is the largest steak to be found on the company's menu. Grilled over a fire to create an unforgettable smoky taste, this slab of beef wins some major points for flavor. Our number one competitive advantage is grilling expertise. Perfectly grilling steaks is what we do. But from a nutritional standpoint, it barely makes the scoreboard. This massive steak contains 1,280 calories, 2,450 milligrams of sodium, and 67 grams of fat. And these stats are just for the steak alone. Add in the sides, which can range anywhere from an extra 220 to 860 calories, and you've got a meal heavy enough to satisfy an adult's caloric needs for an entire day. In addition, since red meat contains a slew of saturated fat, the sheer size of this steak alone may make it a poor choice for the those at risk of heart disease and other related conditions. All in all, steak fans will have to decide if this mega-sized entree is worth the potential downsides. Chicken is generally considered to be a lighter, lower-calorie meat than beef. This means that it's commonly enjoyed by those trying to cut back on their red meat intake, or by those taking part in diets for weight loss. So you might think you've found a leaner option when you come across the Longhorns Parmesan Crusted Chicken Entree, which comes in both 9-ounce and 12-ounce plate sizes. The dish is made up of garlicky Parmesan Crusted Chicken and comes alongside a salad and choice of side dish. While this may not sound too nefarious at first glance, the overall calorie count stands at over 1,120 for the 12-ounce plate option. This becomes all the more worrying when you consider the fact that 12 ounces of plain chicken breast is only around 300 calories. This suggests that the Parmesan breading is the cause of that high calorie count. Keep in mind that this number doesn't include sides either. Depending on which option you select to accompany your entree, the overall number of calories will go up by a decent amount. The total fat and Sodium is worth noting, too. At 36 grams of fat and 1,860 milligrams of sodium for the 12 ounces of chicken alone. In summary, this one may not quite be the light poultry entree you originally envisioned. Shrimp comes with numerous health benefits, such as a high amount of protein per serving, omega-3s, calcium, and choline. They also contain a good amount of nutrients that you might not find in many other foods, such as iodine. However, those innocent little shrimp can quickly become calorie or sodium bombs, depending on how they are prepared. Grilled shrimp free from breading, for example, will naturally be lower in overall calories and salt than breaded shrimp fried in oil. So if that kind of thing bothers you, then you may want to consider how your shrimp were prepared before you place your order. Longhorn's celebrated take on shrimp is sadly not the lightest seafood appetizer you'll find in the sea. The Wild West shrimp are fried, served on a large platter, and topped with a mixture of seasoned cherry pepper and garlic butter. In particular, you might want to steer clear of this one if you're watching your salt intake. The Wild West Shrimp comes with a whopping, almost unbelievable, 3,740 milligrams of sodium, far exceeding an adult's recommended daily intake of less than 2,300 per day. Considering this is only the appetizer round, you'll tack on even more when your actual meal makes it to the table. Additionally, the platter comes in at a rather hefty 970 calories. Pork ribs aren't exactly known for being healthy, so this next menu item may not come as too much of a shock. Baby back ribs, sometimes also referred to as pork back ribs, are taken from the upper part of a pig's back and are celebrated for their tenderness and flavor. The baby back ribs entree at Longhorn is available in either a half rack or full rack portion size and comes slathered with the company's signature sweet and savory barbecue sauce after being grilled over an open fire. Sounds satisfying, right? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby. Baby back, baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. But if you're dieting, you may just want to skip right over this one. A full rack of Longhorns ribs comes in at over 1,600 calories, more than 100 grams of fat, and over 1,400 milligrams of sodium. And that doesn't even include the barbecue sauce drizzled liberally on top, or the side and salad that come with the meal. Bringing all of these elements together could very well put some adults over their target calories for an entire day. How comfortable you are with this scenario is up to you, and will likely depend heavily on just how much you love those baby back ribs. 
Step aside, Bloomin' Onion. There's another fried onion appetizer in town. Introducing the Texas Tunion from Longhorn Steakhouse, a plate of sliced, deep-fried onion petals finished off by a sprinkle of the company's very own in-house prairie dust seasoning. But before you rush out to Longhorn to sample these mouthwatering morsels, you might want to take a look at the nutritional stats. The Texas Tunion plate comes with a shocking 1,180 calories, which will no doubt rise if you choose to dip your pieces into the zesty sauce that comes on the side. It also contains 2,720 milligrams of sodium. This is well over the Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommendation of 2,300 milligrams or less per day in one shot. And it's just a modest-sized appetizer, too. While an overload of sodium in the short term can cause excessive thirst, bloating, and other uncomfortable symptoms, taking in too much consistently can put consumers at risk for high blood pressure, stroke, and heart disease. Is any steakhouse dinner plate complete without a baked potato on the side? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Indeed, the baked potato has become a coveted staple for steak fans all over the world. This is especially true when that potato is loaded up with delicious toppings. And in the case of the Longhorn Steakhouse version, the finishing touches are certainly added liberally. The loaded baked potato side comes topped with a generous spoonful of cool sour cream, salty bacon bits, cheese, butter, and green onions. And this savory snack tastes every bit as delectable as it sounds. Sadly, the Longhorn potato may not make the rest of your body quite as happy as it makes your taste buds. This single spud, which varies between 290 to 470 calories depending on the number of toppings, comes with over a day's worth of an adult's recommended sodium intake right off the bat. And when the sodium content of the main entree is also factored in, your total number has the potential to grow further. This could potentially pose a serious problem for those following a low-sodium diet for health concerns. So take it into account when selecting your sides during your next next meal at Longhorn. Corn is thought to have its origins in Mexico and North America, but in today's modern world, its reach is hardly limited to one location. Different versions of this sweet golden vegetable can be found everywhere, including, of course, Longhorn Steakhouse. Roasted over a flame until rendered slightly smoky, Longhorn's whole fire grilled corn on the cob side dish is topped with a signature sauce before being finished off with a generous topping of parmesan and herbs. It sure sounds like an upgrade to your run-of-the-mill boiled cob, doesn't it? While this may be true as far as taste goes, when it comes to nutrition, Longhorn's version of this savory side is actually a huge downgrade. The dish comes in at 200 calories total, a relatively modest number in and of itself. However, when you consider that a standard ear of medium-sized plain boiled corn contains around 88 calories on average, it becomes clear that all the delicious additives have seriously amped up the calorie count, making for a much heavier take on this healthy classic. In addition, it appears many of these extra calories come from fat. The fire-grilled cob has around 9 grams of it, while a plain ear contains just over 1 in total. It just goes to show that looks can be deceiving, even when it comes to steakhouse sides. Who doesn't love a hefty dose of cheese every now and then? I can't ignore the cheese! Yeah, it's we'll not, I'm sorry, it. Let's face it, though, macaroni and cheese is about as indulgent as food gets. All that cheese, all that pasta, and whatever you want to throw on top. It's fair to say that nobody chows down on this stuff to save calories. And sure, there are some lighter takes on this cheesy, carbohydrate-heavy classic out there, but for the most part, mac and cheese isn't known for being diet-friendly. And the Longhorn Steakhouse version, an extra creamy baked macaroni covered in a layer of crispy parmesan and bacon bits, more than lives up to the stereotype. While undeniable delicious. Longhorn's signature steakhouse mac and cheese side dish comes at a high fat price. 37 grams lurk within this steaming modest-sized bowl, along with 1,210 milligrams of sodium and 610 calories. Since this item will most likely be ordered only as an accompaniment to the main course, selecting it as a side of choice will damage the nutritional value of your meal significantly. Still, everyone's nutritional needs vary. If higher fat, higher calorie meals is something you're striving for, then Longhorn's mac and cheese may very well fit the bill. It goes without saying that desserts tend to contain a lot of sugar, and most of us eat them knowing full well that we're hitting or exceeding our sugar intake for the day. That's kind of the point, after all. But what many people don't consider is that many sweet desserts actually come with other less attractive nutritional stats as well, such as a high sodium or fat count. This is the case with one of Longhorn Steakhouse's most popular desserts. Its signature, the cheesecake. An originally flavored cheesecake with a graham cracker crust covered in a generous layer 
layer of whipped cream and finished off with drizzled liquid caramel and pecans, this treat certainly brings all the sugar you'd expect to the table. However, it also boasts some other unattractive nutritional elements. You can expect to consume a whopping 1,520 calories when eating this one, as well as an unbelievable 93 grams of fat and 920 milligrams of sodium. All this in a little slice of cake? Proceed as you see fit. What would you call a dessert that includes multiple different types of chocolate jumbled together deliciously on a plate? A chocolate stampede, of course! Longhorn Steakhouse's chocolate stampede is a last course worthy of its name. This massive dessert is made up of two unbelievably thick slices of rich cake and six different types of chocolate. It's finished off with chocolate shavings, chocolate drizzle, and a few mounds of whipped cream and vanilla ice cream. It's so big, in fact, even the website outlines that a family effort may be needed to finish the entire plate. As you might expect, a dessert this big comes with a seriously shocking number of calories—2,460 to be exact. This is more than many adults require in an entire day. In addition, there are around 132 total grams of fat as well as 1,040 milligrams worth of sodium. If you're sharing with a few people at your table, these stats can be reduced, some per person. But the chocolate stampede is still guaranteed to pack a punch when it comes to your diet. Still, we all know that saying about moderation. If you've been looking forward to your dinner at Longhorn for some time and you find yourself craving a little chocolate, nobody will judge you for ending your evening with this unforgettable finisher.